Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about functions in Python. So if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so functions are nothing but a block of code that only runs whenever you invoke it. Which means if you have some code block that is repeatedly found in your code base, then you can add that uh, code block into a function and then you, you can use or you can invoke that function wherever you want. So that's the basic idea of functions. Now it will be clarified once we hit an example. So we'll start off with uh, adding a function. Now a function is uh, nothing but it starts with the keyword def, which stands for define. And the uh, next, uh, next one in here is the function name itself. So I'll name it as add. Now this function just takes in uh, two numbers and uh, returns that uh, the sum of the two numbers. So uh, def add, then in, in the parentheses, we'll add the parameters which means uh, you'll understand it whenever we call that function. So this, this one receives two numbers, as I have told you, so let it be A and B, for instance, just to plain variables, no issues with that. You can, of course, use C and D, no issues. Now, followed by a colon, and uh, then in this code block, you will add the function body, which means whatever calculations you want to do, you, you just do it in here. So. Uh, since we are uh, using an add function, we just returns a plus b, which means we returns the sum. Now, return statement, you'll, you'll understand one, once we call uh, this function. So, this is all about the function. It takes in two arguments, two numbers, for instance, and it returns their sum. That's it. And if you want to call this function in our code base, you can just use... Now, now if I print this one, let me print this one. It doesn't give any output because this function is not being called it is just there it's not being called so if you if you want to call that function we can just say like add and in the parentheses then the, the parameters or the arguments that you have to pass you have to pass two arguments a and b which means you can pass in like two numbers for four comma six for instance now this one this statement will call this function and it returns a plus b which means a is now 4 and b is 6 so 4 plus 6 is 10 it returns 10 now if we um, get the output we didn't we, we didn't get anything because we didn't print the output now this statement called it and returned 11 uh, sorry uh, 10 but we didn't print that output so we need to print wrap around it with print and if we do now then we get 10 and that's it now you can use this statement pretty much anywhere you want in your code base like you, you can do it multiple times with multiple arguments no issues with that and if you run the code again we will we'll get that output so this is the use case of function now this one will not make any sense because you know you can simply like uh, say print uh, 5 plus 6 and that's enough you don't need a function at all but there are cases when you write some complex logic here and you just calculate something and you, you just return some uh, other values and which might not might not be like this one a very simple one where you need a function and this function will return that calculated value whenever you call it multiple times you have to call it where you want that's the policy so with that being said this is a basic idea of functions now there are certainly a lot of things to discuss in functions which we will in the next lectures uh, such as you know the arguments the positional arguments keyword arguments the default ones and there are a lot of other stuff as well we'll discuss that in detail in next videos now a challenge for you is you have to define a new function and you can call it as difference and it takes in two arguments a and b and just returns the difference between two numbers which means a minus b so this is a challenge for you you can just add a new function and you just call that function multiple times just like this one 
that's a very basic challenge for you so uh, just try that and if you have any doubts or if you fell into some errors please let me know in the comment section otherwise um, thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so we'll see you in the next one